Covering the North Shore, there have been five fires in the Hammond area in the past two days. And at least three of those fires were related to the cold weather. WGNO's Ashley Hamilton has been talking to one of the homeowners on East David Drive. Ashley. Susie Kurt, the fire chief, tells me that these fires have taken a toll on all the homeowners. He understands everyone wants to stay warm, but you have to be safe about it. Now, one homeowner tells me he's devastated that he lost his entire home, but is happy that his entire family made it out alive with no injuries. In Louisiana, we're just used to dealing with heat. We're not used to dealing with cold. Five structure fires in 24 hours in the Hammond area. The latest taking place on East David Drive. Fire Chief Daniel Folk says they've had their hands full and have already determined what caused the first three fires they dealt with. Caused by space heater too close to some combustibles. The, uh, one was the heater, um, caused some issues. One was someone was trying to thaw out their pipes. And they were using a little blood torch. And In one of the fires, a resident tells me his stepson alerted him about it. And after noticing where the flames were coming from, he panicked because it was near his daughter's room. I immediately went through it. She was in the room sleeping. Just started. That's when I started getting everywhere out of the house. It wasn't as bad. I tried to try to get the water hoses on and running, but I, uh, I didn't crack. Uh, I guess one or two of them on this side of the house. The home was severely damaged, but no one was hurt. I'm very grateful. It's the only thing that really matters at the end of the day. All this stuff is material. Oh, we got. Yeah, I paid a lot of money for the house. It's paid off and everything, and I got to do, fix all this stuff myself. Chief Folk says during cold weather, he adds additional staff just in case. And he's also reminding people to make sure their fire and carbon monoxide detectors are working. That is your lifeline. If you're sleeping, the chemicals that, in that are in that smoke are going to put you in a deeper sleep. That smoke detector is going to wake you up to get you out of that house, to get you to safety, so we can come and just simply deal with the fire.